You're watching Telecom TV from Mobile World Congress 2019 in Barcelona. I'm joined now by Dr. Liang Geng, who is Principal Researcher, Edge Computing at China Mobile Research Institute. Liang, thanks for joining us on Telecom TV. What new demands are consumers placing on communications networks? Yeah, so let's take 5G as an example. So before 5G, we normally talk about requirement from, you know, you and me, um, simple users. But when 5G comes, there are lots of talking about um, demand from the vertical industry. So that's the main new demand we're looking um, at the moment. So, um, for example, enterprise users, um, factory users, they really have different requirements for communication network compared with those of simple users. Um, so, um, basically, what, what I see here is some of them are not only require connections, so they, they also require computing resources. So we're looking at, for example, the popular term as computing, you must have heard about it. Um, so we're looking at how we actually gonna build up a new computing plane based on edge computing on top of our network plane. So that's a converged computing and network resource that can be provided to verticals. What are your expectations and plans for the cascade link generation of Intel Xeon scalable processors? Well, it's, it's, it's definitely a, the, the, the best, well, the, the newest version of um, Intel CPU. Um, and from the figure, from the test um, measurements uh, we've seen, it provides much more efficient um, power consumption. And also, um, it's, of course, it's, it's faster. And also, um, because the infrastructure, infrastructure for computing is really expensive, um, I mean, talking about building a new plane. So we need chips like Cascade Lake that is more powerful with lower, lower, lower power consumption and more, you know, cheaper in scale, cheaper in unit computing power. What's your reaction to Intel's plans to make the Cascade Lake generation of processor specifically optimized for network workloads? Yeah, I think power consumption is one number one requirement because we're looking at more and more computing power to be deployed in service provider network or service provider equipment room. And electricity cost is actually something really big. Um, so, yes, so the, the balance between power consumption and computing power is what we look at the, um, the most important thing for, for Intel CPU. Yeah. How is China Mobile transforming its network to become more flexible and agile, more cloud-like? Yeah, um, definitely, um, well, I'm going to talk about two, you know, very old word, which is NFE and SDN, right? Always talk about them at the same time. So NFE basically make our network to be cloudified, right? Um, so you use these um, IT type of technology to build up your network function on top of your hard, common hardware. Um, so basically you result in much flexible deployment and you have the ability of breathing and breathe out. Um, and also for SDN, you basically find your connectivity in a more flexible way. So talking about enterprise users or vertical users, they want their connectivity to be more agile, to be more flexible. They have a different topology depending on their business, depending on their application. And SDN give service provider a great tool to orchestrate your network, your connectivity. And NFE give you the tool of orchestrating your computing resources and your network element. So we combine this technology together to transform our network. How are you shifting from using proprietary technologies to off-the-shelf technologies? And how does this help you build networks that are more cloud-like? So basically, dedicated devices type of black box technology. When you talk about off-the-shelf, it's type of like white box. It's just more open. So we rely on more type of open source um, community to help with the diversified requirement received from different customers. And I found that's really important for service provider to transform the methodology that basically evolve their network and computing resource and infrastructures. Liang, thanks for joining us on Telecom TV. Thank you very much. Good to talk with you.